Right, hello and welcome to another costume review. Today we are doing this one, which is the what I call the Mr. Fox one, but honestly, as you can see, they have named it the Fantastic Fox. This is by Wit Costumes. Um, you can search them up, they really do some great quality little tiny mascot e costumes out there um compared to all the other like costume brands out there which you know if you want like a very mascot -y one you know there there isn't much choice out there you know if you want like more like cheap range you know it's all like 100 pound and onwards um but yeah i hope you enjoy this review here is the fuck one Yes, it is uh, like this. <laughs> this is what it looks like in person. And you've got the like, little wicky towel. <laughs> and you've got the uh, roundy feet. Not so sure if you can see that. But I try my best. <laughs> you know? <laughs> and uh, like I said, uh, you know, it's like that with the hands. They tend to show it off in the online stores and all that stuff like that. Uh, actually, hey. I can show you. <laughs> there you go. I'm trying to not forget the shine. But uh, yeah, so like I said, they display it. They display it like that. <laughs> they display it like that. That's how they display it. But honestly, it's not fully covered. It just it goes over your hand. So yeah, <laughs> quite comfortable and everything. Lovely. It's a love. It's a great costume. I recommend you buy this right with the key features for this one well you still got the seafood 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 <laughs> seafood eyes um with the material and you have this kind of um fabric this kind of like stitchy fabric you know what you normally would touch if you was like in school and they were like teaching you sewing that kind of material for basically around the eyes and of course the eyebrows itself and honestly you actually can see quite a bit of the stitching anyways it's like you know you can see it like all around where it was where it was all stitched together um i suppose that's one down floor with that little design but honestly you would only see it like if you're up close like i am right now <laughs> like i bet you yeah you wouldn't be able to see you probably wouldn't be able to see because that's just me with great editing where you just cannot see it at all but with this one um not many people show it off in their videos um i um, I remember a Twitch clip which got kind of popular when um, it was Erob, yes, Erob. The uh, Erob streamer was like wearing this costume <laughs> and uh, yes, he drank a bottle. And uh, yeah, that is one thing that not many people do show off. But um, yeah, the mouth is got a hole. So uh, you can just, I don't know, pretend to be bored. <laughs> Uh, I suppose. <laughs> if you're into that, I'm not. <laughs> um, but yeah, so the mouth can, you know, flap out or in, so you can be able to drink whatever you want, I suppose, and maybe try eat in it if you like, if you want to really try. But you know, with um, white fur, you know, it's probably not a good idea to eat in it. <laughs> I don't recommend that at all. But yeah, I do tend to try keep the mouth shut by. Um, fault you know basically pushing it behind the fur little ring bit around here um to of course hide the mouth better and like i said it kind of looks a bit more better like that in my opinion um one thing i would do if you got this costume is a bit take a bit more care with uh, the fur because uh basically it does tint oh look I'm talking about a witch not so sure if you can see that you can just about see it. You can see it in the blue. My blue, my blue wall. Oh, there we go. It's focused. Oh, have I got the auto focus on? Ah, oh, that might be why. <laughs> focus on me. Thank you. <laughs> I don't tend to have the auto focus on, just because it can be a problem with my web camera. Um, I'm pretty sure they sorted it in the new model, which I still don't have. Um, 
but uh, yeah, <laughs> uh, I didn't realise it was on. But um, yeah, basically the fur is kind, does tend to slightly molt away slowly, so maybe in 100 years it will probably be very bare and you know, it might be patches <laughs> in, in the future. But um, I honestly feel like, um, because basically when I got this I wasn't much of a costume collector. So yeah, I wasn't putting tons of effort into care, so it has got kind of like very scrunchy, like a scrunchy beard, <laughs> basically what I have. <laughs> um, but um, basically if you take care of it a bit, it'll probably look more nicer than what this, what I'm showing here. Like just be aware that yeah, I wasn't that great with care. Actually, um, just to be sure you can see it. Actually, it's a little bit hard to see. Yeah, yeah, you can kind of see how, you know, not nice looking up close it is. <laughs> but honestly, if you probably take care of it, you'll probably be fine with it. Now it's time for the pros and cons of the costume, as well as the score I'm giving it. The pros, it's very comfortable um, and it's quite nice and soft. You know what it feels like? It feels like you just woke up in bed and you don't want to get out, you just want to stay in your nice cosy bed for the rest of the day. <laughs> that's basically what it is. That's, that's how comfortable it is and I have to admit I have almost fell asleep in it a few times and I think I actually have slept in it once for like 20 minutes and then I woke up and I was like oh well, maybe I should get I should get out of the costume and go to bed <laughs> I'm getting tired it also has a way to be able to drink to hydrate in this costume without removing the head so you don't have to hide or go to a private area to yourself you, you can just drink away and maybe have some food but it's more doable for drinks, of course, but, um, you know, you can maybe have some foods with the costume without it messing up the bit white beard and, you know, um, making it all a mess. But, um, yeah, <laughs> probably the chocolate bar or something like that, you know, something less messy. But, um, yeah, at least you can drink <laughs> without a problem in it. The head of the fox is tight around your head and will make it hard to breathe. So, it is very not recommended for anyone who already is struggling to breathe already. Like, for real, um, you'll probably really suffocate if you wear this um, fox head, for sure. Suppose you could use this suit, but again, why would you spend quite a bit of money for this costume and then just only wear this suit? You know, it's like, uh, kind of waste of money, so yeah, like I said, it's a con. Due to the nice soft material that I was just praising a few minutes ago, <laughs> well, in warm weathers or even just hot weathers, you can get quite hot inside this costume quite fast. It's way better to wear this in winter or autumn times of the year, for sure, because like I said, it does get quite hot. The hands are not fully covered. And almost everywhere for this costume's marketing, at least, has been hiding the fact it only goes on top of your hands and doesn't even talk about it. Yeah, I basically, when I bought this, uh, I thought it was covered, like the hands were actually, you know, covered around your hand like a glove. Nope, apparently not. And when I, when I did look at my costume, when I had it, and, you know, got it for the first time, I did look back at the, uh, information and they don't mention this they might mention this now but i'm pretty sure they still don't and they are technically still using outdated pictures of making it look like yes your hand is covered and you know it doesn't show they hide it away they don't even show that yeah it's not it just goes over your hand but hey <laughs> now it is for my score i give this a six out of ten yeah, I know it might deserve a lower due to the suffocation of the head piece of the costume can do to some people and like I said, if I can breathe well and 
if when I put it on, I struggle to, you know, breathe a bit in it, then, yeah, it is quite suffocating in that head, for sure. But the softness is the only thing that kept me from pulling that rating lower than I gave it. Just because it's just the best part of owning this costume. I doubt there is a costume that is on the costume market that is as soft to wear as which costumes are. Anyways, that's this section done. Hope you have enjoyed this video. Um, yes, you will probably be seeing this outro three times at least uh, because um, to save a bit of time on editing and trying to get all these videos ready and also me trying to get my stream ready to, you know, make make it a bit more easy on me to try get back into YouTube and everything else. Um, yes, I am basically using this review outro like three times. So sorry if you get fed up of this exact same intro, uh, this exact same outro. I'm sorry. I'm just trying to make it a little easier for myself. Of course, in the future, I'll be putting a lot even more bit effort. So honestly, I won't be doing this kind of like repeat of the outro. Thank you for watching and hope to see you in whatever video that might be.